Hello my friends and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, this week I'm going to paint something special, something that's really, um, it, it's, it's one of these pictures that just says everything, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know if you can see it behind me here. It's um, a boy drinking water, okay? Um, it's just such a, a poignant kind of an image, I think, uh, for me anyway, I just find it so full of emotion and it says so much in just one little image I think it just said so much about everything um, going on okay so I have the canvas ready here it's a, six, a 16 by 20 canvas um, I primed it once I don't know if you can see it here I have a very let, let me turn this slightly I have a very light sketch I think the sketch is probably a little bit small but I'm going to just make it bigger as I paint it okay um, so 20 by 16 um, very smooth canvas okay I primed it once and I gave it a good rub with sandpaper and it's lovely and smooth so that's what I'm going to paint this week it'll be a two-part I would think because I want to take my time on this and really do it nice I want to do that washer kind of dropping and really get into some detail and zoom in so I hope you don't mind me taking my time all right um, again do subscribe if you haven't done so already you're missing so much fun um, thank you to all my patrons for your support you've been very generous and very kind and I hope you're enjoying those extra tutorials on Patreon as well so on to more pressing matters um, let's have a bit of fun with this also a cup of coffee you have to have a cup of coffee don't you a lovely cup of tea or coffee I think does the trick doesn't it follow me along see what you think I hope you like it um, I'll be right back okay I hope you enjoy this Okay, here we go. My canvas, my sketch, I don't know if you can see it there or not. Just about. I'm going to make it slightly bigger as I paint it, okay? This needs to be a lot chunkier and, you know, the, the body a lot kind of bigger as well. So, it's just a reference. I'm going to tell you what colours I have. I have titanium white, maple's yellow, cadmium yellow, um, born cyanide, a little cadmium red. I don't know if I need it or not, but at least it's there some burnt umber, a little crimson, um, just a warm colours a bit as well, and some black, lamp black, okay? Alizarin crimson and lamp black. A paper palette, you can use a wooden one if you like, but for the, for the purpose of tutorials, I like to use paper palettes, so you can see the colours mixing. Um, also, the weather is picking up slightly as well, it's getting nicer, so I'm going to start trying to get some more plein air tutorials done. So, you know, fingers crossed, let's get some nice sunny, sunny, warm weather and we can get outside in the fresh air and set up our cameras and all that kind of stuff. Right, nice warm background on this and I'm just going to dampen my brush. I have some linseed oil with turpentine, or rather turpentine with linseed oil. Just a little linseed oil in there and some blue tissue, okay? And I'm going to start with my large stubby brush, just... A regular large flat synthetic brush nice and soft I'm going to dampen that dry off the excess and I'm going to take some Naples yellow let's try that a little white little cadmium yellow and the colors are very warm on this now aren't they I'm going to go in and take a little cadmium red cadmium yellow I took the Naples yellow and the white just to make this nice and pasty I want this to cover really well do you understand what i mean because if i just use cadmium red and cadmium yellow it's going to be very luminous and translucent and transparent and it's not going to cover the canvas very well so i took a little white a little naples yellow and that just thickens it up then like a nice thick pasty cream kind of a texture do you know what i mean then i go into my cadmium yellow my cadmium red and now we have a lovely warm colour. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Um, now I'm thinking I could just paint over this tap completely because I'm going to paint it anyway. You know, if you were really particular and you're really nervous about drawing and stuff, you could go around the tap like this very carefully. You know what I mean? But then you're going to see a brush strokes on either side. But I want to make this look like a flat background. So I'm just going to go right over this. And I will still see the pencil lines afterwards anyway, so it doesn't matter too much to me, to be quite honest. 
and I'm just going to go around the head very lightly um, again because I'm going to bring this out slightly more okay it's a little too small on the canvas so I'm going to go out into my color afterwards you see so I don't have to be too particular with this hair up there like that um, I will go around the hand just loosely okay like that and then fill all this in it gets dark from the hand down doesn't it so I'll stop, stop around there where my line is and again let's just keep mixing and mixing and mixing all the way some cadmium yellow cadmium red um, there's a lovely rich orangey colour going on down here isn't there I'm going to go really warm with this in a minute but this now is just really a sort of an underpainting if you understand um, it's just a way of covering your canvas that's all it is and I just want to get the white of the canvas covered you could if you wanted put um, a wash over this like in a cyan wash perhaps you know I could have done that as well but I know for a lot of the beginners out there you like to just kind of work on a white canvas to start on a white canvas um, you know using washes is tricky enough especially if you're just kind of starting up with oil paints um, I see people make a lot of mistakes when doing washes they put the wrong type of wash on and they don't allow for that colour to come through underneath and then they end up with kind of very strange colours on their painting so you really need to know about washes before you go ahead and start doing washes on an entire canvas okay um, you know practice a few of them and um, look at lots of tutorials on washes and just try a few but I wouldn't do a wash unless you are unless you're very comfortable with doing a wash okay now I'm just getting this color now all the way up it's not very wet um, it's kind of quite dry ish I'm kind of having to drag my brush across the canvas all right and that's for me then is a nice thin coat of paint it's not very thick and it's not very thin but it just means I have kind of not a dry brush now I'm dipping into my turpentine just a little every now and again just at the corner because I want to dampen it as I go if it gets too thick I dip my turpentine into it okay or my brush into my turpentine just a tiny tiny amount there we are just concentrating on filling this in I'm gonna add I might start adding a little more a little crimson rather as it goes up towards the top okay crimson and cadmium yellow and the crimson will make it slightly pinky I can see a nice pinky kind of a tone as it goes up there towards the top a little white in that mixing everything in the same place here now okay drag this pink all the way across and it's mixing lovely now into all those colors up there beautiful you have pinks warm yellows and I'm going to soften it down into the rest of that color now pull it across like this let's just take out some of those brush strokes that's all just take some of those out all the way down there we are now so I have my base done my kind of base coat on I want to now start putting some darks and lights across this I can see a very dark color down here I'm going to make a very rich color for that okay and I'm not going to copy this exactly do you see the way there's a kind of a dark outline down here I'm not going to copy that exactly I'm just going to kind of maybe just soften this into a very dark color okay oh, I'll get some cadmium red some cadmium yellow that gives us a very rich orange doesn't it but then I'm going to add a tiny tiny amount of burnt sienna okay and let me go along over the hand like that go in here down under the hand slightly 
Again, a little cadmium red, a little cyan, lovely warm colour. I'll be careful with the cyan as well, okay? Just be careful because if you take too much cyan and it mixes with the yellow, it becomes a sort of a mucky colour, okay? So I'm going to show you here now what I mean by mixing those together. I'm going to take a small brush, right? Small flat brush. And I'm going to take some cyan. Look, born cyan. And I'm going to take some cadmium yellow. And you'll see how, you see, it kind of turns into a mucky colour. Now if I put that on, it's going to look very mucky. You see what I mean? It's kind of a light mucky green kind of a mustardy colour. I don't want that. So I'm not that's why I'm not going into my cyan too much. Let's take some cadmium yellow, cadmium red, and a little cyan, okay? Now as it goes up slightly, I'm just taking the excess off here now on my tissue, okay? I'm gonna start adding more yellow into that. And what I want to do is just give it a little bit of a punch just at the top there, look. Soften it in. Soften it right up. And down again. And I may even come down a little into this colour. It seems a little bit dull, that red there. So I'm going to just brighten it ever so slightly with some yellow. Now, again, dampen the brush and give it a good wipe on some tissue. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put some of that slightly darker colour across. So, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and a tiny hint of that burnt cyan. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to just simply... I'm scraping the canvas, so I'm not kind of going right into the canvas. I'm almost using just the tip of my brush, okay? I, just, I only want to put a little amount of this on my canvas. I'm just kind of trying to spread it around evenly. Just to get a nice soft line of it across there like that. And then I'm going to clean my brush again. And this time go into some Naples yellow. With a little cadmium yellow and a little white. Now I need to get more Naples yellow on my palette. I might make the colour slightly stronger on my picture, okay? The background colour is just slightly stronger. I'm taking a little more hint of that orangey colour in there. And I'm going to just pop this through. Especially behind the tap. Because that will give us a nice light background to show off that dark tap. Okay? Against this nice, a, a kind of a nice silhouette. You see? Let's do that again. A little bit of Naples yellow, a little cadmium yellow. And let's go over here, put it back on this side. Quite light back there, so a little bit of white. Again, thinking about the silhouette of the darks in this, all right? And I might go up on top and add a tiny amount of that as well. Even just Naples yellow on its own, actually. Yeah, and I might take some Naples yellow with a little crimson, with the crimson down here, little crimson, but plenty of Naples yellow, a little white, and I go up there and make that nice and light across there. I like to kind of tend, I, I tend to naturally work quickly with backgrounds like this. Um, I don't know why, it's just a habit I have, I suppose. Um, I just naturally work quickly with backgrounds. 
I like to kind of keep it loose. I don't like to focus too much on backgrounds, especially this kind of a simple background. I like to just, you know, lash on the colour and call it done. I don't like to kind of um, dabble and take my time and I just, I find you become too concentrated and too fixated on one particular colour and you keep trying and trying and trying to get that colour right. You're better off just putting it on quickly and leaving it. Now, here we go. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to now put in a nice sun. There's a nice rich warm sun in there, isn't there? We go for a nice medium kind of a flat brush. Let me just dampen it and dry it. And I'm going to get some nice rich yellow. Cadmium yellow. And let's pick somewhere just over the hand, okay? Between the tap. Uh, let's see. So around here, okay? And put in a nice sun. Just try your best to draw a little circle, that's all. It doesn't have to be perfect. My suns are never perfect. They're never completely round or anything like that, but I don't mind. This is all just a bit of fun. Okay, how is that? Now what I'm going to do is Gently soften around the edge of that, okay? I'm barely touching the canvas with this now, okay? I'm just softening that around. Then I'm going to put some cadmium yellow with some white. Long in the middle. Soften it outwards, you see. Then perhaps just some titanium white in the middle. Clean your brush and then kind of soften it around the edges. Just a little bit. Now you can do as much or as little of this as you like, okay? You don't have to go to all these extremes if you don't want to. Just give this a little bit of a punch of yellow around the outside. So you can spend ages doing this until you get it right. Now, I think I'll just leave it at that. Okay, coming down, let's go down and fill in all of this down here. I'm going to give my brush a clean. I'm going to dip it in some turpentine and just let the tissue soak it off. And dark, rich brown colours now, okay? Let's go. Let's dampen it slightly. And I go into, um, I start with some cadmium red. Okay, and I go into some cad the top burn cyana, cadmium red burnt cyana, both of those. Then I'll take a hint of burnt umber. Okay. A good bit of burnt umber actually. And now I'm going to paint this in. Just very lightly. I'm going to kind of soften it slightly into that background up there see so we don't have a very solid line it's nice and soft but a little bit of a wiggle here and there then i'm going to go really dark so right into burnt umber little crimson and some black so now we're going really 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 dark okay And more burnt number again, more black, there's a bit of crimson. The crimson just keeps it warm, all right? It just keeps those darks nice and warm because I don't want to go pure black. Um, pure black on its own could look quite cold. So I'm putting a hint of crimson into the mix. And again, this now is probably only the first 
layer I, I will go over this again with more paint I let this kind of set for a little while then I go over it with more paint to understand uh, because I will never get a really really dark color the first time around because that whiteness of the canvas wants to show through it's fighting you see I'm kind of fighting now with the white white of this canvas trying to cover that so it will take more than one coat I promise it really will so I'll just soften that across here now Yeah, nice and soft. So, we now have a nice graduation from a light right into a dark. And it's nice and fuzzy and hazy, isn't it? That's what I was kind of trying to get for the background because we're going to have nice, really sharp lines on all of this. And especially that tap, really, really sharp. Um, I'm debating whether to let this dry before I continue with the tap and stuff or will I try and paint the tap now? Because... That very white Naples yellow colour will be very difficult to paint over that without um, mixing into it. So I may have to let this dry completely, um, or not even completely, just for a few hours before I can continue on. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but look, I'll continue on down and get some dark done down here. Now from here on I'm going to use a dry brush, okay? No turpentine. I did use a little turpentine just to spread this around much easier but from here on it's just paint okay and this will stick now much better look at that so you see this now will stick much much better to that color underneath it will mix in slightly but it will stick much better and we'll get much better coverage And I give it a little wiggle here and there as well to suggest that there's something going on in the background. Do you understand? Then soften them very gently, hardly touching the canvas. And as it comes down, let's take some black and some crimson. Go right down here, nice and dark. Look at that. And you could even just leave some of the brush strokes if you like as well. Isn't that lovely now? That very rich dark colour and that lovely soft fuzzy kind of an edge there. I think that's just wonderful. I really like this. Um, so let's have a look now and see. Let's have a look and see what we can do with this. Um, I might soften around the rim of that sun with a very soft brush. Just very carefully, okay? just to take some of the brush strokes out okay that's enough that leave and do fine um, if you want you could put a hint of a white just in the center and kind of soften it around and out like that that helped kind of give more glow in the center of the sun just remember nice and soft okay that'll do fine you can't add more when it's dry obviously um, okay, so I think I think I might go and do perhaps some of this here. I think I will. Um, okay, I'll start with, uh, let me see. I get some brushes ready. I get a small pointy brush. I get a nice round brush. Um, I start with my round brush and get some very dark color, okay? Some burnt umber little black some crimson and i think with that color now i'm just going to start let me get my stick here i have a little handy stick here for resting against things i'm going to start with uh trying to get the outline of the head just right okay let's go down like that 
and remember now I'm going slightly outside my line because I want to make it slightly bigger and this is really only probably a first coat Okay, the crimson. Let's even take some burnt sienna in this. It's a very dark, rich colour, isn't it? Rich brown colour. Um, so let's go around like this. This may go wrong now the first time, okay? So just bear with me. We will... Don't worry. We get it right. Okay, then it goes in like that and back out. Now, switch to a bigger brush and mix some warmer colour burnt umber and cadmium red. You just fill all this in. This will definitely take two coats, two layers of paint, all right? Definitely. So, I'm just aiming to cover all this and try and soften some of the brush strokes out. And to be honest, I'm not very good at painting faces, as you probably know by now. I've never tried to paint someone's face in a tutorial because I know I would just make a complete and utter mess of it. Um, I'm just not very good at painting portraits. So I think I just stick at what I'm good at, at what I think I'm half good at which is landscape painting and subjects like this in general. Okay, now, just leave it at that for a second. I'm just going to leave that light on the air so I know where it is, okay? So I don't get lost later on. Um, right. We can go down and perhaps do the hand. So, more burnt umber, little black. Uh, some cadmium red. I'm adding cadmium red into this just to warm it slightly, okay? And let's go like that. Okay, and um, turns was up like that. And down the bottom then it kind of it tends to sort of disappear into the darkness doesn't it i like the way it does that again going back to the tour the tutorial with the books where it kind of disappears into the darkness down below you see like this um there's a little bit of green so let me just pick some yellow there's a little hint of green down here from his shirt or t-shirt and a bit of yellow there's a little bit of green showing up to here i'll just put a little flick of it out a little bit of green back here i will do all those kind of bright colors later on okay i'm just kind of focusing now on getting all of this sort of covered in now there's a lovely mauve up here. Do you see that? I'm going to get that in. Um, right, I need more crimson on my brush, or on my palette rather. I'm getting flustered. So a little crimson. Uh, I'll take a little tiny amount of phthalo blue. Now, let me just give my brush a quick wipe here and take a tiny amount of blue little crimson and some white just a tiny amount of white and i'm not going too bright with this because it's in shadow so it's going to be a 
dark kind of a shadow, okay? More crimson in this now, so kind of a bit of a plum colour. There we are, bringing it down. Then I'm going to warm it slightly as it comes around. So adding more pink into it. All right, um, I take a little bit of that mauve color. And I put a little bit of that there to suggest the contour of the muscle. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is take some burnt umber and start darkening this here. Okay. Then I'll go into some black whip on umber and it gets very dark down here, doesn't it? And soften that up. Now I'll take some black with some crimson. And I just want to kind of get some of the contouring done on this. Get some burnt umber in that as well. So a nice dark colour. There we are, and it gets dark again down here, doesn't it? Okay, now it's coming on quite nice, isn't it? I'll take a little bit of black with some crimson, tiny bit of crimson, I want to get that really dark colour in behind there, okay? And then it kind of goes up and softens out. There. And the same down here. It's really dark here, doesn't it? Soften the muscle in just slightly. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, that's quite nice there. Bring this out a little. Then, a little bit of black. Gets very dark just at the back of the head here, doesn't it? And especially up along the top. So now I'm kind of going over this layer with an extra colour, okay? Some black and a bit of crimson. I'm suggesting very lightly the hair line. Do you understand what I mean? I hope you can see all of this okay. Up there like that. Right. And I'm going to go pure black now just around the outside at the back of the head here because that's really in a very dark silhouette, isn't it? Okay. Now also, so I'm kind of just looking at where all the dark, the, the dark points are, like for instance down under the head here now, alright, this is a very dark 
there we are I'm just going to pop that in kind of showing the shape of the cheek that kind of stuff you understand but I'm not being too particular about it I don't want you know I'm not going to get it perfect I know I'm not going to get it absolutely perfect but um, just trying to show lots of those shadows in there okay a little bit of that um, I think I should perhaps start the hand and I can leave the features like the eyes and that kind of thing until the end so let me just get some of this very dark crimsony black color that we have small round brush now it comes up like that don't it and it takes a dip down and then it goes back up again and this is in the warm side so i'm going to make this lots of crimson maybe a hint of cadmium red as well because this is right by the sun and it comes up like that then and i'm showing the fingers um it's kind of tricky just to get it looking right you know what i mean Right, so we have this finger, then we have this finger kind of turns. So he's, he's cupping the water. Does that make sense? He's cupping his hand. Okay. Now, I don't want to make him kind of as sharp as that. Okay. I might need to make his hand a bit bigger. I think his hand looks a little bit too small. Okay. That's probably a bit better. And then I'm going to just get some black I'm going to put some black down at the bottom here. And the lights then you see are going to show off the highlights on the fingers. So that's the that's the plan you see to get the lights to show off the darks so i'm going to take i'm going to mix some nice bright color okay for the highlights of the fingers i'm going to go for some crimson a little white and a tiny hint of yellow all right and now this is wet so it may not work perfectly i'm going to go along like that Okay, here and there. A bit there. A little bit on the second finger down there. So you can kind of get the idea now, can't you? And look, it doesn't have to be perfect, all right? By no means. This is all a fun tutorial, okay? You can take your time at home and do this absolutely perfectly if you like. But you don't really have to. Okay, maybe paint the tip of the finger.
like so. Then let's try a bit of yellow. Like that. You see? Now, I think I'll try and get some of the air done, that kind of thing. What do you reckon? Let's try it. Take some of this light mauve, and I'm just going to suggest... ...the air. And fill in this little piece here, okay? So I'm just picking out some of the lights here and there, okay? Um, and there's a little, little bit of a light in here. And I can see a tiny bit of a light just here, like that. Then, see a little bit of a light colour where it moves out into the face, like that. Now, I'm going to take some real dark colour, okay? I'm going to get some black and go in here with some black, okay? Like that, okay. A um, little bit there. And I'm going to suggest as well the, the nose and the eye, all that kind of stuff. And okay, I'm going to darken here the lips. And put a little dark around here. It's coming out quite nice now, isn't it? I'm quite happy so far. Uh, the eyebrow now, the eyebrow is a tricky one. Then the eye. See, I'm only suggesting, I just want to suggest little bits, just, you know. Just leave your imagination, fill in the rest. Alright, and a bit of darkness down here. The cheek, you see, a bit of dark there. And then the lips. Um, okay, it's just basically a line. Like that. Okay, let me stand back now and take a look at this. That's not too bad now, is it? That's quite nice. I'm uh, I'm happy enough with that. I think I'll put in some of the lights. Oh, just let me fix my chair. Do you know what? I'm going to take a cup of coffee. I think I deserve a cup of coffee. Or a nice cup of coffee, rather. Um, let's get in some of the lights, okay? Let's suggest some lights. I'm going to take some cyanide and... I'm going to take a hint of cadmium red and a hint of white, okay? So it's a very warm, warm kind of a highlight. Nice warm, sun-tanned kind of a skin colour. Uh, let me just get some here like that, okay? And I just basically want to suggest the warmth of the sun. little bit on his cheek okay a little bit of light coming down there on his cheek and just sort of blend it in backwards into his cheek let's take some more and come down and put some there and a little on his nose and a little here i can see a little bit of it there and it softens down into his lips and a little hint of it on his lips 
and there's a bit of that colour following the hairline and it kind of comes around and shows his cheek doesn't it now there's also some of that colour behind the ear going down showing the hairline as well and it disappears into a darkness doesn't it I'm going to go a step further and take an even brighter colour. Sienna, Naples yellow. And I'm going to go even a brighter colour. Just here and there. And a little bit just here as well. And I don't want to overdo this. Do you know what I mean? I'm just want to, I want to keep it simple. Um, a little bit perhaps just here for his ear lobe. That's probably a bit bright. Okay. Uh, perhaps a little hint of it on his shoulder. And a hint of that colour also showing kind of his muscle here. A bit of his muscle. Soften it down. And I'm going to put some of that warm colour just here as well. Okay. Now, uh, actually, there's another little bit just up on his forehead up here. Little hint of that warmth just catching. And let me stand back and take a look. Okay, that's part one finished. I'm happy enough with that. Um, actually, do you know what I will do before I leave? Let me just get this, maybe some of this t-shirt done just here. So let me take some cadmium yellow, um, some white, and then a little hint of cyanide. Now I know it's a very kind of a luminous green. But I'm starting with this bright colour first. Then I'll take some yellow with a hint of phthalo blue. And I'll go in then with that colour. And it shows up here as well. Okay. Then let me get some black and give that a nice black outline here. And let that fade down. You see, so it's just suggesting his t shirt. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Isn't that lovely? What do you think about that, my friends? Will I try to zoom in and show you this a little bit closer? Isn't that wonderful? Part one finished. I'll widen his arm now as well slightly, so not to worry about that, okay? But I think for part one, we, oh, sorry, are doing very well. I'm happy with that fix this here. Um, don't go anywhere, I'll be back with part two. I must leave that dry just a little and I'll continue on then and we'll finish the tap, we finish his shirt and we do the wonderful water.
dripping down all of his hands. That's going to be exciting, isn't it? Don't go anywhere. I'll be back um, in the next couple of hours, maybe tomorrow or something like that. So I just want to let that dry off slightly. But enjoy part one and see if you can follow me along, okay? Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching.